Yo, Side Town Over Radio, man, the best place to be at on any day, really. It's the one and only DJ Malone. Oh, man, we're having a good time here. Now, I know you guys know, I'd love to interview my people overseas. I'd love to interview just people who are really on their grind, who really about stuff, man. And this person, this lady right here about to come on is doing it. Man, we got Taddy. So, Batty, what's going on? Hey, DJ Malone. How you doing, baby? What's going on? How you doing? Oh, I'm doing great, man. It's nice and beautiful day over here today. Not snowing, so it's, that's a good thing. So how was your Thanksgiving? It was good. It was peaceful. A little, little time off from the work. How about you? How was yours? It was good, man. I just spent time with family and, uh, you know, just I, I'm always on the go. So it's like, you know, I'm always like, yo, I got to do this. I got to do that. But this time I just really kind of just wind down and just spend time with family and stuff. Good. That's good. Yeah. So let's get into it, man. Now, for the people who don't know about you, give it a little brief in- insight about you. All right. So I'm a female rapper I'm from London, Ontario, Canada, uh, close to Toronto. If nobody knows where London is. Um just doing my thing out here, man. I'm grinding hard. We just released a new single. It's out on Spotify. It's called Meet Me in the Club. There's a video out on YouTube. Um, you know, we're about to release a new song already, and, and I've got a show coming up. I've been doing interviews all over the U.S., the U.K., everywhere, and they're all bumping my song, too. So it's great, man. Everybody's showing love to the Canadian girl, which is amazing. So how, how how is that, you know, whenever you get love from just, you know, out of any, anywhere and people are listening to your song and people are hearing about it, how does that make you feel? Amazing. Amazing, because it just goes to show that the music grows, you know, and, and it's, it doesn't only have to just be here local. It can be everywhere. It's amazing. And I swear, the United States, you guys show me more love than my own city, so I really appreciate it. Definitely, man, definitely. So um, let's go back into a time machine a little bit. What made you say, yo, I want to pursue a music career? Well, I've always been involved in music since I was really young. Um, as a preteen, I used to sing the national anthem um, for Canada and U.S., like all over. My, my grandparents were involved in a big camping community, so it was like hundreds to thousands of people at the time. And, and I just caught the bug ever since then. Uh, my grandma put me in singing lessons. I've always been involved in drama class. And, you know, I'm just a real personality. I always I always dress it up and, and put it on when I'm out. So it just it just... I fell right into it. It was perfect. And my management, uh, he had been working on an album. And my engineer, Patrick Stephenson, he had wrote the hook for Who Let the Dogs Out. Yeah. So they all heard me rap to a song and was like, yo, get this girl in the booth and let's see what she can do. Yeah. And uh, an album and a mixtape later, here we are. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, though, man. It, it, do, you feel mm-hmm. like, do you feel like in this day of age, and, and, and we, I, I know we talked about streaming and everything, but do you feel like in this day of age albums are kind of redundant now what's what's your thoughts on that i mean i get different perspectives from everybody i just did an interview with rudy blair down here and and he was telling me you know like albums are huge everybody that releases an album is, is doing good and i don't know it depends i'm a new artist i've just been brought out to the press and so i figured a single was the way to go um to s- just see how it goes you know but I mean, I've done the album thing. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of effort. It's a lot of money. And and it just depends. I mean, you've got to try different things. So it's what works for you, I guess. Yeah, that's what it is, though, man. So what? Like, yeah. so what are your what are your dreams? What are your goals, man? What what what's, what are you trying to achieve? To well, I just I just want to be on stage. I want to perform everywhere and anywhere. That's that's my passion. Is I just love to get on stage and and just do my songs live in front of people and just see reactions and get people into it. That's what I want to do. Everybody else around me is all worried about getting a record deal and all this. And, and I mean, I, I do want that eventually, but I, I kind of want to grow more as an artist because mm. I know a label is just going to make me change everything I am right now. Yeah. So I just want to grow. I want to do it all myself, prove it, that I'm good at what I do and I'm good at who I am. And then, you know, we'll see how that goes. You, you never know what's going to go. You, I could be an indie artist forever and, and just keep going like that, right? But 
Well, um, I just want to keep performing. That's all I want to do. Hey, man. Hey, and you know, and, and you know what? If you're in a content place and you feel like, yo, this is where I want to be before I want to grow or do anything, then who's, who's the stop you? You get what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. So let me. We're going to talk about your single, man. And but, but before we do that, if I go to a, if I want to see you perform. What am yeah. what am I looking for? What can I expect from from uh, Taddy so bad? Blunt and upfront. I'm saying everything people are thinking, and I'm I'm just having fun doing it. Um, I don't know. I've always been told my stage presence is great. I'm good with the crowd. Um, it's just I'm I'm good fun to watch. I guess I don't know. It's, and I'm I'm in an industry full of males. Every time I go do a show. I'm usually the only female there, so that kind of puts me on a up as already. You know, people are already looking at me like, "Oh, I want to see what she can do." Right? Yeah, yeah. I've had people say, "Oh, you're a rapper." Like, yeah, I'm a rapper. Just wait; you won't even expect what's coming. But see, and, and see, the thing is about with the ladies now, and not just in the states, but a global thing. Ladies are going hard. Sometimes even oh, yeah. harder than the dude. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I love a girl who can say, yo, you know, let's get it, let's go. I can rhyme. I got something to say. I want you to hear what I got to say. I like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. So let's get into the track, man. So the the track is called Meet Me in the Club. So who are you meeting in the club? So, I mean, we all go to the club. You always see somebody you like. Or some bodies. Anyway, uh, this is just like a visual, a visualization of what I go through. Uh, you sit in the club, you see a sexy man across the way, and he's staring you down. And in your head, you're contemplating all of these different scenarios going through your head. Like, yo, this sexy boy, he's gonna leave me broke, homeless, with a kid, all welfare. He gonna cheat on me, you know. I'm just going through all these scenarios, and then at the end, I'm like, you know what? Let's just keep it fun because it's not about love. I'm just here to have a good time right now, and that's it. Yeah. yeah. So it, it's yeah, it's just having fun, you know, with the with the thought process. Okay. You want to go introduce the track? Yeah, definitely. Uh, Yo, this Patty's so baddie, and you listening to DJ Malone? Let's get it. This is me, me in the club. Me, me in the club. Satana Radio. Let's go. I never seen nobody like you, girl, like you. Uh, DJ Malone, this is a banger. Like you, you just drop it down, bring it up to the floor, baby. Girl, I never seen nobody like you, girl, like you. Uh, I never seen nobody like you, girl, like you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I may never seen a body like you, bumpa, tip, bumpa Tell your body I'm the nicest Tell your body so divine, yes I may tell your body nicest I may want to be your man, yes The shawty let me be your man Send me come from this Meet me in the club Meet, meet, meet me in the club Meet, meet, meet me in the club Meet me in the club when I put on you Better not be late I don't care if it's early or if it's quarter after great Cause you just another choice on my dinner plate One, two, three, I gotta catch them all In the club I show no love so I won't fall Still they tell me that I'm sexy, yeah I'm so amazing Thanks for the compliment but it don't be phasing Just laws of attraction, once that's gone it's heavy acting I know that there's more to life than this So I'ma close my eyes, blow and make a wish See you watching, I know you can't resist Watch my lips and these hips as I strut my stuff Give it to me gentle baby That I want it rough Tell me what your fetish Jump in get me wet Better get started before I finish Before my sexual peak diminish Listen up, this what's up Meet me in the club Co-word, I wanna rub all my lungs On your bones, play like Trump Then you getting dumb Meet me in the club This ain't about love I may never see nobody like you Y'all like you I may never see nobody like you, bumper, tick, bumper. Tell your body I'm the nicest. Tell your body so divine, yes. I may tell your body nicest. I may want to be your man, yes. The shawty let me be your man. Send me come from the city. Meet me in the club. 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 
Meet me in the club. Let's agree. I'm here to tease. I'ma put your sexual stress at ease. To wanna be another hit and run. Casualty, another single mom. Sitting at home, banking on the monthly. Pop me a house in the country. To wanna be alone. This house ain't a home. Get me a dog, I'ma give him a bone. If I leave him alone, I know he'll find his way home. Make him too. Whip to roam, but now I ain't that chick. I'm a weekend warrior, just up for some. I call it a quick pick, nothing to play with, something to lay with. Lucky you may hit, but that's about it. And got to pay it. You bad, you slay it. You done, and got to say shit. I like you. I mean, never seen nobody like you. I like you. Yeah. I never seen a body like you, bumper tick, bumper. Tell your body, tell your body, tell your body, so divine, yeah. I'm tell your body, nice, yeah. I'm want to be your man, yes. So try to let me be your man. Send me come from this, meet me in the club. Meet, meet, meet me in the club. Meet, meet, meet me in the club. Meet me in the club. I like your heart. I never seen a body like you. Girl, I like I mean, never seen a body like you, bump a tick, bump a Tell your body, you're the one you say Tell your body so divine, yes I mean, tell your body nice, yes I mean, want to be your man, yes So shawty, let me be your man Yo, man, shout out to the radio, man, the best place to be at on any day, really. Oh, man, we got a little bit cut off, but uh, we got Chatty so bad he back on the line, man. What's going on? Hey, how you doing? Sorry, baby. Oh, it's all good, man. You're here now. That's what matters. Okay, who produced the record? Uh, my producer is Kieran Logic Hyde. He's here, a local boy in London, and also Patrick Stephenson, uh, they both did a little bit of mixing, mastering together to make it all radio pimp. But yeah, Kieran Logic Hyde, that's an original beat of his. That beat is like over a decade old. Sure. So it's exactly what you're talking about, right? That, that He made it around that era too. Okay, okay. So but yeah. So so who are you jamming to? Who is, who is Taddy so badly listening to right now? Right now? Um, I don't know. I love me some Nicki Minaj, man. That girl's music puts me in a land. Mm-hmm. But, um, and Cardi B, she's doing it too. I give respect to all female rappers. I've got lots of female rappers that follow me on Instagram. Great, great, great what we've got going on in this genre. Real, real. Okay. Uh, loving the new Drake. Jay-Z's 444 just came out, which is doing really good too. Yeah. yeah I feel the local like- boys down here too. They're really good. So, I, yeah, I, and I haven't really got into the, to out of the, out, you know, out the country and stuff like that. But, you know, how would you say on you know locally how is talent out there it's crazy that that i would not imagine if i was never in this how many people were actually in the hip-hop and rap scene out here and just london alone like we've got a lot of, of people that have come out of here doing big things like if it's crazy i go to a show and there's like 30 40 of us every second person you talk to is a performer i swear a lot of good, good stuff coming out of London. I like that. Good vibes, man. Good positive vibes. Um, producer wise, who would you like to work with? Um, Ronnie King actually called me, and he produced one of two, well, several of Tupac songs. Actually, this man called me and told me he liked my music, so I would love to work with him and get something bumping from like you know with that old school feel. I'm all about the '90s hip hop feel. That's okay. it's the best genre by all far. Okay. So yeah. I'd love to work with him. Rapper wise, I can't talk. Rapper wise, who would you like to work with? Well, I got that blunt up front style. I like to swear. I like to tell it how it is. So um, I would have to say I would really love to work with Hobson. Mm. That would be an idealistic rapper for me. Okay. Okay. But yeah, he does it. He does it real. He's crazy. Performing wise. Where would you want to perform at? You could perform anywhere. Where would it be? 
man, anywhere that would take me. I would love to perform here at Budweiser Gardens in my city just to show everybody, you know, all those haters telling me you never do nothing, you're never going nowhere with this. I want to I wanna be there one day putting it on. That's real. Sure, that's, that's, that's a dream right there, man. That is a dream, man. <laughs> and you're going to reach that dream, man. Just keep on striving. Keep on doing your thing, man. Thank you. So what can we expect, man? Are we expecting an EP, mixtape, album? What can we expect? Yeah, so I'm about to release uh, another single. We uh, It's coming out on Spotify in a, maybe about a week. Okay. Uh, it's called White Girl. Okay. Uh, bomb, bomb, bomb. This one's the brand new Good Good. And we're also going to release another song through my publicist. It's a little bit sadder and it's a little bit more lyrically inclined. I, did, I really did good on this one. This was one where I took more of the artistic side and I got to write more of my own bars. So I really, really got to ride this one on my own, which is great. So that one will be the next big one to be released. It's called Yet You Hate Me. Okay. Very and, good track. And when, when can we expect this to be dropping? So the next one should be out in a few months. Don't hold me to a date yet. It's all just up in the air, but it will be coming soon. Follow the Instagram and Facebook posts. Stay tuned. It's coming. Okay. Where can, the, where can the people reach you at, man? Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all your stalkers, your lovers, your supporters. <laughs> yeah, Instagram, at Patty So Batty. We got the Snapchat, Patty So Batty. Facebook is Patty Land. Everywhere else is Patty So Batty, baby. Okay, that's what it is, though, man. And the Meet Me in the Club yeah. joint, they can get that on Spotify, iTunes. All- iTunes, Apple. Uh, all that Shazam it you can do all of that we're on radio stations all over the US all over Canada Toronto it's, it's going we're coming to a radio near you soon if you can't hear it now we'll find it this, this is a quick game for any artist uh, and uh, and just to let you know program directors are really looking at Shazam numbers now mm-hmm. so it's 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 wild to me that, that people would look at something like that and they really go in on, you know, numbers, you know, your Shazam numbers, your Spotify numbers. It's really big now to have a presence online and get that buzz up. It is. And I mean, that's what I mean. Like, you don't even really need a label these days. It's, it's about independence. We've got the social media platforms and, and every artist is doing it for themselves. And respect to the ones that are showing those numbers, man, it's a good thing. It's a great feeling to know that, that people are actually feeling it. Anything you want to uh, say to your fans, your your family, anything else like that? I just want to say thank you so much to everybody that's been helping me grow this brand. Taddy so baddy. We blunting up front. Coming to a radio station near you, baby. Thank you. Love, love, love. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by. Before you go, man, I'm the king of the drops. I always ask for a drop. Um, can you say this is Taddy so baddy and I'm rocking with Sightown Urban Radio? Yeah. This is Taddy, so baddy, and I'm rocking with, sorry, what is it? Sightown Urban Radio. Yes. Okay, it's Taddy, so baddy, and you rocking with Sightown Urban Radio, baby. Yeah. Turn up! Turn up! That's what I'm talking about, man. Taddy, man, I appreciate you stopping by and everything else like that, bro. It's, it's been a pleasure talking to you, meeting with you. And if you ever in the States, in Chicago, look me up, man. Yeah, for sure, man. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate the love. Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Oh, you too, man. Thank you. Oh. Shout out to the radio, man. Good people right there. I like that. Good vibes. Um, it's-